Welcome to Life in the UK Test.biz, where learning is fun. Some of the principles included in the European Convention on Human Rights are right to life prohibition of torture prohibition of slavery and forced labor right to liberty and security right to a fair trial freedom of thought, conscience and religion freedom of expression, speech. Britain has a long history of respecting an individual's rights and ensuring essential freedoms. These rights have their roots in Magna Carta, the Habeas Corpus Act and the Bill of Rights of 1689, and they have developed over a period of time. British diplomats and lawyers had an important role in drafting the European Convention on Human Rights and Fundamental Freedoms. The UK was one of the first countries to sign the convention in 1950. UK laws ensure that people are not treated unfairly in any area of life or work because of their age, disability, sex, pregnancy and maternity, race, religion or belief, sexuality or marital status. If you face problems with discrimination, you can get more information from the Citizens Advice Bureau or from one of the following organisations, England and Wales, Equality and Human Rights Commission, www.equalityhumanrights.com. Scotland, Equality and Human Rights Commission in Scotland, www.equalityhumanrights.com. Scotland The Commission in Scotland, and Scottish Human Rights Commission www.scottishhumanrights.com Northern Ireland, Equality Commission for Northern Ireland, www.equality.org Northern Ireland Human Rights Commission, www.work.org It is important for anyone facing domestic violence to get help as soon as possible. A solicitor of the Citizens Advice Bureau can explain the available options. In some areas there are safe places to go and stay in, called refuges or shelters. In the UK, brutality and violence in the home is a serious crime. Anyone who is violent towards their partner, whether they are a man or a woman, married or living together, can be prosecuted. Any man who forces a woman to have sex, including a woman's husband can be charged with rape. You can also phone the 24-hour National Domestic Violence Free Phone Helpline on 0808-2000-247, at any time, or the police can help you find a safe place to stay. Female Genital Mutilation, FGM, also known as cutting or female circumcision, is illegal in the UK. Practicing FGM or taking a girl or a woman abroad for FGM is a criminal offence. Forced marriage A marriage should be entered into with the full and free consent of both people involved. Arranged marriages, where both parties agree to the marriage, are acceptable in the UK. Forced marriages where one or both parties do not or cannot give their consent to enter into the partnership. Forcing another person to marry is a criminal offence. Forced marriage protection orders were introduced in 2008 for England, Wales and Northern Ireland under the Forced Marriage Civil Protection Act 2007. Court orders can be obtained to protect a person from being forced into a marriage, or to protect a person in a forced marriage. Similar protection orders were introduced in Scotland in November 2011. A potential victim, or someone acting for them, can apply for an order. Anyone found to have breached an order can be jailed for up to two years for contempt of court. People in the UK have to pay tax on their income, which includes wages from paid employment profits from self-employment taxable benefits pensions income from property, savings and dividends. Money raised from income tax pays for government services such as roads, education, police and the armed forces. For most people, the right amount of income tax is automatically taken from their income from employment by their employer and paid directly to HM Revenue and Customs, HMRC, the government department that collects taxes. 
This system is called pay as you earn. Pay. If you are self-employed, you need to pay your own tax through a system called self-assessment, which includes completing a tax return. Almost everybody in the UK who is in paid work, including self-employed people, must pay national insurance contributions. The money raised from national insurance contributions is used to pay for state benefits and services such as the State Retirement Pension and the National Health Service NHS. Employees have their national insurance contributions deducted from their pay by their employer. People who are self-employed need to pay national insurance contributions themselves. Anyone who does not pay enough national insurance contributions will not be able to receive certain contributory benefits such as job seekers allowance or a full state retirement pension. Some workers, such as part-time workers, may not qualify for statutory payments such as maternity pay if they do not earn enough. Further guidance about national insurance contributions is available on HMRC's website at www.hmrc.gov.uk. In the UK, you must be at least 17 years old to drive a car or motorcycle and you must have a driving license to drive on public roads. To get a UK driving license you must pass a driving test, which tests both your knowledge and your practical skills. You need to be at least 16 years old to ride a moped, and there are other age requirements and special tests for driving large vehicles. Drivers can use their driving license until they are 70 years old. After that, the license is valid for three years at a time. In Northern Ireland, a newly qualified driver must display an R place for restricted driver for one year after passing the test. If your driving license is from a country in the European Union, EU, Iceland, Liechtenstein or Norway, you can drive in the UK for as long as your license is valid. If you have a license from any other country, you may use it in the UK for up to 12 months. To continue driving after that, you must get a UK full driving license if you are resident in the UK. Your car or motorcycle must be registered at the Driver and Vehicle Licensing Agency, DVLA. You must pay an annual road tax and display the tax disc, which shows that the tax has been paid, on the windscreen. You must also have valid motor insurance. It is a serious criminal offence to drive without insurance. If your vehicle is over three years old, you must take it for a Ministry of Transport, more test every year. It is an offence not to have a more certificate if your vehicle is more than three years old. You can find out more about vehicle tax and more requirements from www.gov.uk.